Hi guys, Craig and Annette from Oz Camping. Today we're going to talk about toilets. Yeah, shit of a subject I know, but somebody's got to do it. I guess Annette and I take it for granted that um, we've used chemical toilets for so long now, even when we were tenting, we were taking chemical toilets with us on Fraser Island and Morton Island. Um, and, and we just take it for granted that people know how to use them. And it was intriguing at the recent uh, camping show. I had quite a few people ask me, oh, how do you use the toilet in the, in the CX3 Pro? So we thought we'd cover that for you. Um, it's not difficult. And if you're using the right chemicals, you're not going to get any odors or unpleasantness with it. So it's quite good. Um, on the outside of a van, if you're using a portable toilet, by the way, if you're tenting like we used to and you're using one of the Thetford portables, uh, you can use the same, the same information we're going to give you is applicable for that. So let's start by setting up our toilet. You want to get your cassette. Now, to get the cassette out of the holder, there's a little yellow handle at the bottom here. You just lift it up. That's locked in, but you lift the yellow handle and pull it forward and it comes out. And that's your cassette. Now, the cap on the cassette is actually a measuring container. Okay. We like to use the Thetford Blue, the Aquachem Blue, and there are a lot of toilet chemicals out there you're going to get your own preference, that's fine. You don't have to use what we use. We like the blue because we just never had an odor problem with it. So the instructions on the side of the bottle say 150 mil per 20 liter holding container. The holding container on our Thetford is, is less than 20. I think it's around about 10. So I use 75 mil. So I just fill up this cap to the 75 mil mark and we pop that into the holding tank and you want to add one to two liters in a small in a smaller tank like this one liter is fine you want to add one liter of water as a prime so that just gets a little bit of liquid in there mixed with the chemical and that's all it takes to prepare the toilet for use. And put the cap back on. I like to give it a bit of a shake up and we can pop the cassette back in and close the door and our toilet's ready for use. So using the toilet isn't too difficult at all. Lifting the lid, just remember to open the valve, the, the toilet here, so there's a, a flap inside. And we pull the lever forward, that opens the toilet, then you can use the toilet, do whatever you need to do, that's fine. And there's a flush button here, and we press the flush button, and then close the flap again. By closing the flap you've closed off the waste container, the, the cassette, and you're not going to get any odours or any smells through your caravan. So that's as simple as that. Here we are back in the bathroom again. When it's time to empty your toilet you'll be notified by a red LED on the top of the toilet there. You can see that. And that indicates that it's time to empty. So we'll pop back outside and show you how that works. And just like we did when we set the toilet up, we open the hatch and lift the lever and pull the cassette out. And we're ready to go to the dump point and empty it. Here we are at the dump point. Now, before I empty the cassette, I like to give it a good shake up. Just to break up any last remaining solids in there. And you want to turn the spout up. And you can take the lid off. 
Now there's always a hose at the dump point, so I like to use that just to wash things off as I go. And there's a vent button here. You want to be ready to press that vent button so that this doesn't glug when you're emptying it. So down into the pit, holding the vent button, and you can see it empties quite easily. No glugging, no mess, and if you're using the right chemicals, no smell either. So then we put some water in. Put the top back on again. Give it a bit of a shake. And we'll empty that one more time. So finger on the vent. and press the vent after you've turned it over. You don't want to press that vent too soon. If you press it when you're up this way, you're going to get some leakage there. Not so pleasant. And that's it. We're all emptied, either ready to go into storage or ready to go back to camp and set up again. Now do the right thing and have a clean up behind yourself. It's always nice when you get to a dump point and the person before you has left it nice and clean. So just give a good hose around. Make sure the hose is off so we're not wasting any water. Close the dump point up and you're ready to go. So that's it for toilets guys. If you do have one of the portable uh, Thetfords or a portable chemical toilet of any brand, you'll have a separate flush tank. On the caravan unit, the flush tank comes off the main water tank, so there's no extra chemicals needed. But in your portable toilets, there is a flush tank chemical that you put in, and that just keeps that water nice and clean in the flush tank. So be prepared to get some of that as well. Um, I don't think there's really anything more to say, so I guess I'll start work on filling it up again. Cheers.